Now here's a problem I recently ran into. My double hung window pane suddenly became heavy and it won't stay up by itself anymore. And I have to really be careful when it's like this to avoid injury to my hand or fingers. But follow along with me and I'll show you how to easily fix this yourself. Not sure if you know this or not, but on either side of the window pane, there's a spring loaded cartridge that helps lift and hold the window up. But here I'm sure one or both of them are broken. And here are the replacement parts I bought. It's called a window balance, and normally these are hidden inside the window frame. I also bought some window clips as well, and later I'll show you why I needed these for this repair. Before doing anything else, the clips on both sides of the frame need to be flipped out. I actually forgot to include this step in my original edit. Okay, now I can continue on to remove the window pane. This is done by sliding the window all the way up and then moving it to one side so it can slip out. Just be aware that the window is probably going to be heavier than you expect when lifting it up. And now I can see the exposed window balance inside the frame. The left side is broken so it comes right out. The right side is also dislodged from the frame so it's just sitting there as well. But if these were functional, they'd still be mounted to the window frame under high tension. To find the correct replacement parts, locate the size printed on the sheet metal. Mine is a 26-3. I got my parts from Amazon and I'll list them in the description so it's easy for you to find. Now let's get to the installation. Locate the small window clip in the frame and flip it out. This needs to be in the up position to install the window balance. On the right side, the window clip has gone missing, and I can't do the installation without the clip in place. So that's why I bought a bag of replacements. There's way more than I need, but at least they're inexpensive. To install the clip, slip the rounded part into the bottom of the opening. Then press the other side into the top opening until it clicks into place. Now I need to flip this one out as well. The new clip is much tighter, so I need a screwdriver for this. And now I can start to install the window balance. First, locate the side with a tiny hook. This is the bottom end. And here on the window frame, there's a small hole a few inches below the metal window clip. This is where the hook will go. So insert the hook into the opening and pull down on the window balance. Keep a good grip on it because there's a lot of tension as I pull it down. It needs to slide just underneath the metal clip where it will be secured in place. This one's now done, and I'll just repeat the process on the other side. What I'm showing you is how to install the window balance, but later in the video I'll show you how to remove one in case that's what you end up having to do. Okay, so the new parts are secured in place, and now it's time to reinstall the window pane. I hope you can see that this repair is fairly easy to do without having to call a repairman. To finish up, insert one side of the window into the top of the frame and then slip the other side in until it's fully seated. Then slowly slide it down. It'll be loose at first but you'll feel the tension as it gets lower. At this time, close the window all the way and then latch it. The last thing to do is press the window clips back in place so they're flush with the frame. The repair is complete and now the window holds itself up when I open it. When you have all the parts on hand, this repair can easily be completed in about 10 minutes. Finally, I promised I'd show you how to remove a window balance. Simply pull down on the balance until it's clear of the clip and then let it slide up to release the tension. And like before, keep a good grip on this so it doesn't shoot out of the window frame. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my DIY repair videos.